Hey, what's going on everybody? It's ETA Prime back here again. Today we're going to be taking a look at the all new Innocent 49 Q1S OLED Curved Ultra Wide Gaming Monitor. When it comes to this company, I've taken a look at a bunch of their portable monitors because, you know, I love my handhelds. And when they reached out and asked if I wanted to test this, I knew the first thing I was going to do is actually connect the Steam Deck to it. And as you can see, yeah, it actually scales pretty nicely. We will get more into that later on in the video. And I've always wanted to test out one of these ultra wide curved monitors. And this thing is absolutely massive. So again, what we've got here is the Innocent 49 Q1S. It's got a resolution of 5120 by 1440p, so 5K ultra wide, 32.9 aspect ratio, 240 hertz refresh rate, 0.3 millisecond response time, R1800 screen curvature, 99% sRGB, it does support HDR400, speakers built in that actually get pretty loud, they put out some bass, and with a lot of new devices on the market, USB Type-C video is very important. This does support video in over USB Type-C, and it'll charge that device at up to 90 watts. This does have its own internal power supply, so we've got our power in, a 3.5 millimeter audio jack, USB Type-C, two full-size display ports, HDMI, USB Type-B, two full-size USB-A ports, and gigabit Ethernet. This does support KVM and several different picture-in-picture -picture modes, so you can basically set this up with two different devices and run, let's say, a mouse and keyboard and even Ethernet from the back of this monitor to those devices. It also comes with all the cables you need, HDMI, USB-B, we've got a USB Type-C cable, and display cable. With this thing coming in at 49 inches, it's a pretty massive monitor. Even the feet for the stand here, you can see it's pretty wide here to keep everything nice and stable, but it's super simple to get this put together. Obviously, the stand is included, and this will tilt, swivel, raise, and lower. We'll just go ahead and lock it down in place, and now we need to install the feet here. But once it's all together, it looks a little something like this, and I purposely wanted to use one of the smallest mini PCs that I have with this unit. And yeah, I don't think I'm going to be doing any gaming with this mini PC at this kind of resolution, but for everyday Windows tasks, this actually works out really well. And again, this is the first time I'm checking out one of these ultra wide monitors. I've seen these out in the wild and was really impressed by, you know, how much screen space you have. And, you know, if you've got dual applications running here, you've basically got two massive monitors. You could just go side by side with it. But I did mention this does have picture in picture mode. There's several different ways that we can actually set this up. Now, if you use, let's say your PC and your phone a lot, there's actually a really cool mode here. Actually, there's two modes, phone one, phone two. We're gonna go with phone one. And basically it's gonna give us a vertical space over on the right hand side. Phone two will do it over on the left hand side. But now if I plug in my device over USB type C, I'm using the S25 here in non-dex mode right now. You can see we've got access to our phone. And again, this monitor supports KVM and it works over USB Type-C also. So if you've got a mouse and keyboard plugged into the rear USB of the monitor, you can use that mouse and keyboard or whatever you have plugged in with both of these devices while they're connected. It's actually really cool. The next mode I wanted to show you is just dual mode. Basically, it splits this monitor into two separate sections. On the left hand side, I've got my mini PC with Windows 11 installed. On the right hand side, the S25 with DeX running. You can do this with two PCs. You could do it with a Mac and a Windows computer. It's really up to you. But this way, we've got a single monitor with two devices connected, and I'd say there's plenty of room on each side of this 49 inch display. So I mentioned at the beginning of the video that I wanted to test this with the Steam Deck, and yeah, it is working. I'm just plugged into USB Type-C, and from here, over USB Type-C, we can actually do up to 144 hertz. If we are plugged in over HDMI with the device, we can do up to 240 with this. Now, I'm not sure how many games we're gonna be able to play at full speed at this kind of resolution on the Steam Deck, but I still wanted to see if it would work. And in the future, you're probably gonna see this monitor in another video with a more powerful PC running SteamOS and something like this. I really do like the way that SteamOS scales with an ultra wide monitor. I mean, it looks great. We've got plenty of room here. But now I wanna see how the Steam Deck performs at this kind of resolution. Remember, this is 5120 by 1440p. And just as I thought, even at low settings here at this kind of resolution, uh, it's not at 60. Our GPU is totally maxed out here at 1600 megahertz. It's not horrible. I mean, it really didn't fall on its face, but we're in the mid 40s. I've seen it drop down into the uh, higher 30s sometimes. 
but it's just a little too much for the Steam Deck to handle, even with this uh, lower end, easier to run game here. And I did go in, take it all the way down to low settings, but I mean, the main menu here looks great and having this monitor set up with a more powerful system with SteamOS would be pretty awesome. So definitely keep an eye out on the channel for that. But now I wanted to move over to something a bit more powerful. This is the new ASUS SCAR16 gaming laptop with the RTX 5080. And I am using DLSS frame generation because right now we're at that 5120 by 1440 ray tracing ultra with this system. And uh, yeah, with some frame gen, it definitely works out pretty well. We're over 100 FPS on average, but it will fall in its face if I disabled frame gen completely. Either way, this is the first time that I'm testing out Cyberpunk 2077 on an ultra wide monitor, and it's a totally different experience. It's pretty crazy to see this game like this. I'm actually kind of having a hard time getting adjusted to it. No, it won't take long, you know, sitting right here in front of the thing. I mean, it's got so much screen space. This is pretty amazing. I'm pretty blown away here by how different the game feels on this ultra wide. I really want to get in and test more games on this thing for sure. Okay, so for the last few days, I've been messing around with this ultra wide monitor on my main gaming PC and most of the games that I've tested, it really does kind of give you a totally different experience. I do like the fact that we've got so much screen space here and that picture in picture is great if you want to connect two devices and have a single screen. Love the fact that we've got USB type C video in. And again, it does up to 90 watts. So with something like the ROG Ally or the Ally X, you can hit that dock mode while it's plugged in. It will allow you to take that TDP all the way up because we've got a true 90 watts out. The built-in speakers sound way better than I thought they would. And with most gaming monitors on the market right now, they don't even include any speakers because most of them are really tinny. They just don't get that loud. This thing actually puts out some bass. I was really surprised to hear it. And the overall picture quality here is great. Given that it's an OLED display, we've got those super deep blacks, really vibrant colors. And from the OSD, there is kind of a pixel care mode. It will allow you to dim certain parts of the screen so you don't get burn in. And overall, yeah, I really do like the experience of using one of these ultra wide monitors. Something I'm probably gonna put in my office and see if I can get used to it. I mean, I've been using two 27 inch monitors for so long, I'm not exactly sure how it's going to work out. So I might come back to this in a couple weeks, give you an idea about that. And I know that an ultra wide monitor isn't for everybody, but I'll tell you, if you've got a machine that can push those pixels and you're looking for something to game on, it does kind of create a whole different experience with the same games you've been playing. But that's going to wrap it up for this video. If you're interested in learning a little more about the Innocent 49 Q1S, I'll leave some links in the description. You can get this on Amazon or their website. And definitely keep an eye out for coupons because there's always sales on these things. If you've got any questions, let me know in the comments. And like always, thanks for watching.